Main Lakes being outdoors, we're doing something interesting, obviously. I don't own one of these, but we're sitting right next to one. So this is an Argo, and this is Travis from Ducks Unlimited. We're just outside of the uh, location here in Saskatoon. And uh, Travis here is going to tell us a little bit about what we've uh, got planned with this Argo and Ducks Unlimited. Hey Kyle, thanks a lot. Yeah, we're thrilled to be partnering with Argo Canada and uh, have a good relationship with them. And they've provided this demo model, um, and we went through, we've gone through Universe Satellite in Rokenville, Saskatchewan. They donated it to us so we could use it for our event that's coming up on September 25th. And uh, Kyle's graciously uh, agreed to uh, drive this thing around with us and uh, show some people yeah, how these things you work. you really bent my rubber arm on that one. You got me in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we're excited about that and we're grateful that Argo is uh, with us and uh, grateful that they worked with uh, a dealership right here in Saskatchewan to get this. Yeah, it's pretty wild that they just kind of gave one of these up. I don't know if they uh, checked out our channel, but I'm going to put this thing through its paces. They gave it to, uh, to me for about a month first beforehand. Uh, a lot of it is just so I could try it out, test it, get used to it, show it off a little bit. Uh, and when we do the event, what I want to do is have people with me and I'll show it off and you know, take them for a ride, take them through the lake, whatever we're going to do. So that'll be pretty cool. And uh, with the accommodations that Ducks is setting up, we're going to have a meal on the trail and uh, we're going to have it all set up and take people out for a little rip. So that's going to be really cool. And uh, thanks again for, for all of that and inviting me. Yeah, absolutely. Thrilled to do it. And again, this is uh, part of our outdoor event series uh, for Ducks Unlimited. Uh, we're a nonprofit charitable organization, as many people know, and uh, we raise money for wetland conservation and associated habitat, habitats and wildlife. So uh, this is this is going to grow a bunch of other events in the future, I hope, and, and with folks like you as well. So thank you, Cotton. So we're trying to hold on to the trails. We're trying to hold on to all these hunting activities for the next generation and all that kind of stuff. Right? Absolutely. Ducks was founded by uh, conservation-minded and, and hunting people, basically, uh, in 1938 in Canada. So uh, we hold on to that heritage. We hold on to our outdoor and what we do in the outdoors and this is going to help us uh, spread the word that we support that even more. So, yeah. that, that's a big deal to me. As you guys know, I don't know if you've seen the trapping series, but uh, my family's doing a lot of activities in the outdoors, so it's a little close to home to me too. So to combine what I do with what D Ducks wants to do, I think that's super cool. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a really good time. We're going to have links down below September 25th to this event and uh, it's going to go towards that and a meal and a great day. So go check that out. Thanks again, Travis. Yeah, thank you, Kyle. Appreciate it. Ready? <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> go, go, go. You gotta mark this territory. What an interesting machine. It's really smooth. Yeah, well, I mean, we're not doing anything too intense, obviously, but what do you think, Diesel? I mean, I'm sure they've made a lot of improvements since 1980, whatever. Well, they've been around a lot longer than that. So far, it's it's smart enough to know more than I do, and it made it very easy for me to, to get going. Yeah. A oh, wasp. There's a spicy sky raisin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. A friend of ours introduced us to the term.
Well, let's get some photos. Yeah, see, Mom's getting out. You gotta get out. Come on, let's go. Up. Good job. Good job. Nice. Let's have a look at this thing. Yeah, it's all right. So we're back from the Ducks Unlimited headquarters. Mm -hmm. We got the Argo unloaded. We took it for a quick burn. Let's do some first impressions and take a look around this thing. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. You're asking me for the first. Yeah, let's do it. It's yeah. your first impression too. It's pretty smooth. Um, it's pretty, like, the first thing we did was take out the box and put the seats in, which is actually really cool. And we had the dog in the back, which is con super convenient. Um, first impression, really easy to use. It's, like, straightforward if you remember to take the e-brake off. But uh, exhaust is out the front on the driver's side. Fuel tank's in the back. And you can see your kind of, it's a very simplistic idea of how Full or empty you are. It's a good position for it too. It's central and it's nice and low, so all the weight is as low as it can be. Yeah. And then you've got seating for four in the back, two in the front. I'm not entirely sure if we would want to have six people in this thing, but I think it's built for it. I don't I've know. We'll have to actually look up the specs online. This thing is uh, very interesting. Yeah. We didn't know what Argo we were going to get. Uh, from Universe Satellite Sales. So this is what they uh, got together for us. And it's a 950, it's one of the top end models. There's a pile of accessories for this thing that we aren't seeing. I'm not sure if any of this is additions. Uh, don't quote me, but I believe this is how this particular model is ordered. And this is what it comes with. So there's this removable rack. And underneath that is your hood. Basically, it looks like it just opens up and you have access to everything. Um, and then you have a 3,500 pound winch from Warren on the front. Very accessible, fairly high. I think it's a great position for it. It looks sturdy. And then uh, inside there you can see it's belt drive. And then I'm going to assume there's a whole chain length box in here. And basically what you're doing is when you steer right and left, you're controlling right and left. There's obviously no steering on this other than the forward reverse or only forward of one side. That's basically how it works. It's like a small tank. Yeah, and it rides like one too. Like it's, we had it on an incline at one point and it was pretty, pretty sturdy. Felt really sturdy anyways. And actually even riding in the back, cause I sat in the back with the dog at first, it was pretty smooth back here too. And you've got your bars to hang on to obviously. So that was really nice. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me so far. I mean, it's really responsive. It's a little bit tricky at higher speeds, but I mean, it's not really built for speed. It's built for many other functions. It still goes 40K an hour. And yeah. you can tell it's governed there. There's plenty yeah. more speed available, but it's probably smart to govern it somewhere around 40. Everything seems like there's a whole tub and frame in this, and that's what's keeping it buoyant and sealed up from the water. Because um, I don't know if you know this, but of course this can go in the water. It is amphibious. Yeah. We yeah. cannot wait to try that aspect of this machine out. We're also going to be doing that at the event on September 25th. So I think we're going to take people for rides yeah. in the lake. We even got our boat license because it's kind of a gray area that we kind of need one, maybe sort of. So yeah. So basically what I read on the Saskatchewan uh, law by law was that as soon as all four tires are off the ground and floating, it's considered a marine vessel. So what that means is you do need your boater's license and you do need a life jacket on board accessible for each passenger. So the tricky part is from my understanding from back in the day is you can put an outboard on some of these. I think there's actually a modification that comes from Argo that you can buy to put one on the back. 
And as long as it's under 10 horse, you're not supposed to need a yeah. license. Yeah. But then the argument is as soon as this thing is buoyant and in a lake, it's technically a water vessel. So that's what we mean by gray area. If you guys know more, feel free to let us know. But mm -hmm. either way, we, we did the three hour course. We did it in two yeah, hours and it made us wait an hour because you have to do three hours of studying. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> So yeah, in terms of life jacket, definitely guaranteed you need one because you're on the water and you're floating, but for the boat license, there's some debate around that. Uh, and there's some ambiguity in the way the law was written. So either way, we're prepared. Authorities, if you have any doubts. Thanks everyone who made this happen and we're excited to see what she can do. Uh, Kyle and I are uh, vested with the powers to really test the limits of this beast before we take it out at the event on the 25th. So we're gonna have uh, some fun doing that. Uh, we'll have some co-stars or guests or whatever on the channel too shortly enough, which we're really excited about having them in town. And uh, otherwise, yeah, keep watching to see what this thing can do. My first impression, okay, so years and years and years ago, because I'm that old now, I guess, uh, a friend of my dad's, my dad's a trapper, so a lot of his buddies were, you know, bush type folks too. So one of his buddies had a six wheel Argo, and back then it was like a lever system, and it was very rugged, just as capable as they are now. They just don't quite have the finesse. Argo's evolved as far as uh, my view on them. My experience is limited, but I'm going to learn quite a bit. So this one, the way it works is quite intuitive because it's translating your handlebar into the left and right drive so it does that fairly well it's not going to be any better really than what it is right now just by the nature of how that works so i find that very interesting and i do want to dig into that to actually see that because i think what they got going on there is very interesting but uh, otherwise they do some very unique things like having eight tires is obviously interesting i did notice that not all of them are level they're not all on the same plane so I have a feeling that there's a bit of a tipping point and they do that to alleviate some of the turning stress. So there's a lot of thought and years behind these things. So they also come with the most adorable bead locks I've ever seen. <laughs> um, so these are 12 inch rims and they're 25 inch tires. Um, and for whatever reason, I thought they were backwards, but this is literally how they're mounted. I'm going to assume for water reasons, that's the reason why they, they are like that. but. The, uh, the fact that their beadlock is super interesting and it makes perfect sense because of that side thrust you're dealing with when you're turning. So if you're in ruts and you go to turn, these tires in the ruts are definitely going to feel that, that stress on the sidewall. So there's obviously something going on there. And it's good to get this first impression because we're going to ride this a couple times, especially before the event, and I want to know more and more about it so that I want to review it at the end and tell you guys my experience. Because we've done that in the past with other vehicles and some people have found it helpful. I'm not saying I can tell you everything about these, but I'm going to give you a regular Joe Blows impression of this vehicle. So, so far it's super cool, it's super neat, and I uh, can't wait to get it in the water and freak some people out. Uh, but I should probably test that and do that before I just kind of drive 40 <laughs> kilometers an hour into the water. But I'd say so. Yeah, I think so too. But for now, we'll wrap it up. Um, just so you guys know, all the information about what we're talking about event-wise is going to be in the description. And uh, you can also go to our Facebook group page and all that stuff. This is super exciting. Let's, let's uh, do something interesting with this, I think. Yeah, if you want to see us try anything, attempt anything, if you've heard of, you know, wives' tales that you want us to disprove or prove or anything within our reason, uh, absolutely comment below. I'm, we're curious to see what we can do with this thing. So. I have one. Oh. One that we were all kind of joking about in the garage the other day is to put, I have a little baby tractor over there, and what I want to do is have a tow off <laughs> and just see, I'm not going to do anything too stressful, but I'm going to just see if that can be beat by one of or combination of this, these vehicles. I know it's a small tractor, but it's hydrostatic and way heavier than it looks. So I kind of want to give it a, a little tug of war. So. I think something with eight tires and the way it drives with that chain drive and everything, it might uh, might be able to at least put a dent into it. Mm -hmm. Something I'm considering anyway. Okay. Let us know if you guys want us to do that down below. Yeah, cool. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for showing up, watching the video, liking, subscribing, the whole bit.